Hi YouTube, it's Lady Ravenstorm. Um, today, um, this is, um, well, we're going to say third time's a charm. This is the third time that I have tried to make this unboxing video with House of Rituals. Okay, this is by um, Tamed Wild Apothecary. It's one of their many subscription boxes. Um, and here's the... I'm sorry, I had to switch from using my actual camera to my laptop. I love this bottom with the moon faces. And that's their website, um, which I will have the links to below if you would like to subscribe. Now, this, they have two House of Rituals boxes. One is a mini House of Rituals, um, which uh, is $19 and then they have the regular House of Rituals which is $35 um, and I think they have a flat rate of like $5 for um, shipping I'm not sure about that but I think I think that's right um, like I said I've opened it many times and the last time I actually threw away all the packaging part well, except for the little wood chips in here, but um, I'm just going to show it to you this way. Uh, there's the the box. Um, of course, you get the card on top that has all of the stuff that's in it. Um, now, had I gotten the larger um, House of Rituals. Um, it would I would have gotten a quartz rune set um, that had 25 runes um, and it, they're Nordic um, and then the winter solstice Yule kit um, also so um, anyway I miss out on those runes now I do believe um, I am going to switch to the larger subscription, um, just because I'm, I'm able to now. Um, so anyway, all right. Um, so this was, um, the theme is divination. Um, and it has, um, all the information on the divination tools that are included in the box. And as I pull them out, I will read, um, some of what they say about each one. I love this parchment and it's got the color. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. The first thing is it's an old photograph. And um, anyway, I will explain what this sort of goes hand in hand with um, when we get further into the box. Um, and then we have, of course, this would have been for Yule, um, a red candle. It's on, on here, it looks orange, but it really is red. Um, and the next thing we got is the bell, which is awesome. I'm going to put this actually with my Yule items. Um, I just made myself a bell for my altar. Um, I went and I didn't. Okay, I didn't actually make the bell itself. All right. I went, I got a pack of uh, silver, like, jingle bells um, for, like, 60-something cents. And I, I took three of them, and I put them all together on, um, I 
I think it's twine. I think I used, I either used twine or I used cording. Anyway, I put it on there um, so that I could bring it um, during ritual. So, but this one's decorated for Yule with the red ribbon. So I think I'm going to put this with all my Yule stuff. And it says, remember, as the wheel of the year turns, our days continue to shorten and we mourn the loss of the sun. But as winter solstice passes, we know a celebration is imminent. The sun, our light that has grown distant, returns to us this month. Celebrations take place around the world as families and friends come together and reflect over the past year and make plans for the next. We have included a bell as a nod to Yule and as a reminder to always be mindful. Place this on your altar and ring lightly to call spirits. Begin your rituals or to honor a loved one. That's what the bell's for. All right. Next thing, and it came in this velvety pouch. It's a pendulum, amethyst. Really is beautiful. Anyway, my hands are shaking. That wasn't it doing anything. My hands are literally shaking, so. Um, anyway, um, thank you, House of Rituals, because I have been using my pinnacle as a pendulum, um, and I, I really wanted, um, to purchase one. I just couldn't find, um, any that were really within my budget that I liked, but I do like this amethyst. It's very pretty. Um, so it says... Ask. A pendulum is one of the best ways to delve deep into the vaults of our subconscious, a perfect companion for those with many questions, but who also have the patience to listen and learn this new language. Place the head, wait, place the bead at the end of the chain between your thumb and forefinger. Hold it as loosely, loosely as possible without dropping the pendulum. The pendulum should be pointy, pointed down at least a couple inches from touching anything. I cannot read today. Okay, sorry. Be sure to calibrate your pendulum by asking a series of questions that result in a strong yes or no answer. Watch how the pendul pendulum reacts. Look for patterns. Move on to tougher questions, ones with answers unknown to you. Don't worry about any accidental movements or a shaky hand sending mixed signals. <laughs> and I was just talking about my hand shaking. Think of the pendulum as an extension of your body. Unconscious movements are connected to the subconscious. If you need further clarification to any of your questions, see how your pendulum reacts to other crystals, herbs, or other earth elements. Um, and also a little bit on the pendulum. Um, yes, the yes or no answers, um, of course, but you really have to see how your pendulum itself um, reacts um, to so you know how it's going to respond to yes or no, okay? Usually, yes. It's doing a slight circle and sway. Um, there we go. And then stop it. 
no. Anyway, it will usually, uh, yeah, okay. There we go. No. So, and no, I did not do that. <laughs> um, so you have to find out how your pendulum is going to answer your questions. Okay, so um, you can't just start off at asking questions because when it starts swinging or whatever it's doing, you're not going to know what yes or no is. You're just going to be like, well, you didn't answer my question. All right, pendulum done. Ah. And then we have in our little baggie skeleton key. Now, I love skeleton keys. My daughter loves skeleton keys. So Cheyenne, if you're watching, if this comes up missing, I know where it went. Anyway, <laughs> she doesn't watch. I'm not worried. Um, but this connects with this. Um, okay, basically a skeleton key, it's used as a method of travel. So say, um, uh, There's doors represent um, different realms, different um, you know family members, whatever, and you you want to um, connect. All right, so you would use your skeleton key to unlock that space so that you can connect with your um, ancestor or what have you. Um, I will read some of what they've got. Um, skeleton keys represent access, specifically access to knowledge. A skeleton key can be seen as the passageway into another realm. Skeleton keys are known to open doors. They also have the ability to lock others. Ancient keys are a sign of protection and are often carried by travelers or those wishing to break down barriers caused by lies and secrets. When using a skeleton key for a ritual, be sure that you ask the right questions. Focus on the doors you have gone through to arrive here and ask to see the doors that need to be unlocked. There are many doors that lead to the same place. You alone have the ability to choose your method of travel. Okay, next. Okay, these are cone incense. And I think it's Nag Champa. But I could be wrong. However, um, it doesn't tell you it's not on the card or anything. Um, so they usually always send an incense. Um, so, okay. And then we have one of my favorite items. I threw away the plastic that it was in. <laughs> and it is a sear stone. It's quartz. And it's beautiful. Of course, you would use this, um, again, you know, this is about divination, so you, you would use this sort of, um, like scrying, um, very much scrying, <laughs> not like, um, but anyway, and then there's the back, and I like it because it's rough, and then it's smooth. I could use this as a worry stone instead of a seer stone, <laughs> but um, anyway, it, it just fits in my hand. Perfect. And um, 
this that says is for seeing. Um, scrying is a powerful form of divination that can be practiced with a seer stone or window quartz. Um, these stones have been naturally tumbled and shaped by riverbeds. A portion is then sliced off and polished in order to make a reflective window. The seer stone acts as a conduit or medium. It's said that after the seeker slips into a meditative state, an energy exchange takes place and visions, images, or colors may appear in the stone. It's up to the seeker to determine what the images mean to them in that moment. So, all right. And the next is the, is this, it is the um, divination ritual mist. So, um, this would be, well, first off, it smells like amazing. Mm. Anyway, it contains distilled water, Himalayan sea salt, myrrh oil, mugwort oil, and rose oil. And, um, use this as a room spray before any divination rituals or whenever you find yourself feeling scattered or distracted. So, um, it also has sacred herbs, mugwort, myrrh, and Himalayan salt make up the divination spray. Of course, we all know Himalayan salt is for purification and all that good stuff. Um, mugwort is a powerful psychic herb that can produce lucid and prophetic dreams. Um, if burned, smelled, or anointed before scrying, it can enhance visions. Um, it also acts as a protection amulet during travel through both the physical or spiritual realm. Myrrh is a detoxifier of sacred spaces and is also said to create a calm ambience and clear the mind. So there you go. And you know what? I sprayed this last night. Just... Oh. It just smells good. <laughs> and they're right. It does have a calming effect. So um, it's great before bed, which actually a lot of times I do my divination, um, at least with my, uh, my oracle cards, which I have here from a previous video I just did. Okay. And the other things we got, okay, we got this, um, a free gift, and it's a month of uh, yoga. Um, on Lunar Yoga TV dot TV. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. Um, here where I live, we just started a yoga group, and um, I'm so excited. So anyway, it's part of my self care. Um, and then we got a um, 2018 moon calendar. Um, this one will go on my refrigerator. Um, I have another one that won't get beat up as much um, that I'm carrying in my uh, purse. So, um, And on the back of it, I love this crescent. And it says, Have a blessed year, Tamed Wild Apothecary. Or have a blessed year, however you wish to pronounce. Okay, so we um we got the moon calendar, the yoga workout. We got our card that 
talks um, about some divination and a little bit about uh, Yule and the winter solstice. Um, and then the list of all the, you know, here it says ritual tools. Um, so. And then we got our incense. Mm -hmm. We got our photograph and our skeleton key. Our pendulum. Our spray. Candle. And our bell. And then the parchment with lots of info. Again, this is the House of Rituals box. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, blessed be.